Headquarters to Cypher 9. Clearing your arrival with station control. Cypher, you're now orbiting 40,000 kilometers above Bell Service, the Republic's largest penal colony. Fancy rebuilding your criminal reputation? I thought you'd swapped your sense of humor for the promotion. Only in part. Proceed, Watcher 3. Bell Service prison was built in secret to hold the galaxy's most dangerous individuals. Three main levels, Thousands of specialized cell blocks holding everyone from changelings to Sith Lords. We've known of the prison's existence for nearly a year. Now we understand that the conspirators subverted Belsavis to their own use. You say subverted, not infiltrated, not taken over. The conspirators pulled strings with Republic higher ups to construct a special section, Mega Security Ward 23. It's somewhere past the alien cells and the Genocide Ward. They built it and sealed it when Belsavis was founded. No one gets inside. It's the highest security area of the best protected prison in the galaxy. You're going to break in and find what it's hiding. I assume they've left more than a padlock to protect it. We don't know. The rest of the prison uses everything from lasers to force fields to sanitization gas. Two decades ago, a prison gang heard about the ward and tried to breach it, hoping something inside would help them escape. Thieves. Security experts, the underworld's best. None of them made it back, but they had the right idea. You'll assemble your own gang from the prison. Establish yourself as a fellow inmate and succeed where the last group failed. Anyone particular in mind for my gang? You'll find supplies and a detailed dossier at our outpost on the planet's surface. Our military forces are encouraging riots as part of the war effort. It's distracting the Republic and should conceal your operation. But don't be mistaken. The prisoners are not grateful. Keep out. I've just finished cleaning the fuel injectors to the sublight drive. You should notice a point oh 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 eight. Authorization, Cypher 9. Cypher, this is Infiltration Operative Bax Kohler. I've assembled a list of prisoners with the skills to breach Mega Security Ward 23. <laughs> this is Camden Slyke, assassin and escape artist. His brother died breaking into the ward some years ago. Slyke can reconstruct and reassess his brother's plan. He hates authority figures, Imperials included. Next, Cheney Barrow, slicer and computer expert, former top saboteur for the exchange. Motivated by greed and known to nurse a grudge. Ota, ex-mercenary and bounty hunter, cast out of the Mandalorians for dishonorable conduct. He'll provide support and demolitions. Lastly, Parkos. No information on his crimes, but he's an alien tracker whose species sees through walls. Handy to have around traps. These people are volatile and extremely dangerous. Present yourself as a fellow inmate. Do not reveal your allegiance. I've never met a career criminal before. It's a little terrifying, but I'm kind of looking forward to this. Resume playback. You'll use explosives to free the prisoners. Tag each prison cell with a blasting cap, then head to the Republic Security Center. Use the security consoles to disable any fail safes and make contact with the prisoners. You can detonate the blasting caps remotely. 
Maps and safe house coordinates are attached. You're on your own now. Warning. Security lockdown in process. Open prisoner files for Kanjan Slyke, Cheney Barrow, Ota, and Parkas. Disable cell failsafes. Cell failsafes disabled. Defenses will not be activated in case of breach. Open communications link. Let's see you establish your criminal credibility. Listen up, all of you. Half the prison is in chaos, but no one's escaped yet. The Republic's locked this planet down. I have a plan to get out. Play your cards right. You can be part of it. Doors blow in 10 seconds. 
Look for the meeting place on your hollow map. I expect you to be there. I hope they all survive that. Scorpio sanctions activated. Was it a very articulate speech? You chose your audience poorly. For example, Cheney Barrow is only the third best slicer on Bell Savas. I have now killed the other two. You assume I chose my audience for something specific. It isn't an assumption, but the odds are in my favor. Good luck getting your prisoners to work together. We'll speak again. Now, Ota, why are you talking like that with a lady around? It is my nature to shed blood. I will not hide it or wait any longer. <sighs> Don't think you have to. Everyone's watching us, sir. We are grateful you freed us. Now flee before I strangle you. I don't have time for games. If you think you can kill me, take your shot. Otherwise, sit down. <laughs> Some of you know about Mega Security Ward 23, deepest pit in this prison. Together, we have the skills to get inside. With what's in there, we can all make it off this rock. You just need to follow my lead. Wanna get out? Need to get out? <laughs> Canton Slyke. She's Cheney. That's Parkos and Oda. You got confidence, pretty bird. But Mega Security ain't just breaking windows and slitting throats. We're talking bad things there. You're awfully soft for a professional killer. I'm a common sense man with a clue what I'm getting into. Years back, my brother tried what you're saying. Found traps, sensors, blast doors, force fields. Got himself killed. Only way in is to short out what security you can and try to survive the rest. Takes prep we ain't done, and a bundle of equipment. No one said it would be easy. But if you're not in all the way... Uh, in. For now. Don't have any other plans, so... I'll start a list of what we need. Bet we can pick some tools off the bodies, but not the specialized stuff. Carbonite traps, repulsor coils... I couldn't requisition half of this from the Chiss, sir. Don't look at me. My brother took five years to assemble this stuff. It's up to our miracle worker. We can't exactly order the stuff from off-world, so we'll have to improvise. Tear apart the housing, guard towers, anything you can. Let the killing begin. What? Hey, the laboratories, the medical facilities. The labs will be sealed off. Guards will set up a kill zone to keep us from looting the place. The laboratories have all sorts of equipment, and they can track more down. One person slips in and opens the back entrance, we can all follow. I never heard of any laboratory on Belsavis. It's in the next security zone. They say it's a med lab, but everyone knows they experiment on prisoners. It's a stupid idea, but then I ain't heard any better. You survive. Maybe we have more to talk about.
Turbolift activated. Well, look who's alive after all. This here's quite a place. I got us to the turbo lift. Hey, they've got spikes. Adrenals, blaster packs. This is good. I'm going to get my cortical data split working again. And grab what you can. Then we have preparations to make. Boss has a sense of fun after all. Scorpio sanctions activated. I appreciate all of you gathering in one place. Your deaths will be artfully intertwined. You must have tripped an alarm. I didn't do anything. We'll be all right. Weapons ready? Keep your eyes open. These laboratories were designed for experiments in alien aggression. I have full access to the research and chemicals used. What is this? The SLV-88 aerosol was formulated to control the minds and heighten the aggressive instincts of anyone exposed. Enjoy this experience for the brief time it lasts. You want me to fight, Agent? I'll fight you! mind-control technologies, yet those defenses should be unavailable to the wider galaxy. Interesting. We will continue this discussion later. So I'm terribly sorry. I couldn't help myself. I think we're all in one piece. That's a nasty security system. We're not even in the Mega Security Ward yet. Look. We survived. And there's still lots to do, so let's move it. You got it, boss. I'll... I can slice the computers, see if I can get an equipment inventory. Yes, yes, no. It's almost all here. The stupid equipment isn't listed. But there's some pieces that aren't stored in the lab. I can pinpoint the locations. You're doing good. Let's hear what you found out. Carbonite trap. It's in the armory. Need that to freeze yourself. Hide your life signs from the Mega Security Ward scanners. Only way to get in. Spent uranium power battery, hazardous waste containment. Radiation will weaken the door seals. Old Black Sun trick. Anti-radiation serum, water filters. Help you survive that power battery. 
Still, if that's all that's missing, we can count ourselves lucky. Me and the others can pack up, start creeping to the next security zone. Assuming you can recover those three pieces. I'll be fine. But I don't want you dead at the hands of the Republic. I will handle the Republic. That'll take care of that. Boss, it's us. We got everything from the lab. Park has found us a safe place where we can figure out our next step. Sending coordinates. Meet you there.
How many warden droids are still out there? I told you already. Tell me again. Give me the knife. I want to try. What's going on? Caught ourselves a guard. Thought we'd have a little fun. You questioned him? You don't know much. Guards aren't in good shape between the prisoners and the Imperials coming through. He helped us with our maps, and I'm security clearance green now. Think he's probably tapped out. Want me to clean up? Find him and lock him up somewhere. Make sure he can't hear us. Mom always said to save the crumbs. All right, let's go. Take a look. This is the junk we got from the laboratory. Parkos has been putting things together. The physical defenses aren't enough. We need to deal with that computer. The Scorpio sanctions. Is there something you aren't telling me? I like to learn about the things that attack me. I think the sanctions are a program running in the Mega Security Ward that accesses the rest of the prison. It controls the force field, scanners, all that. Your equipment will only do half the job if the program's still running. My brother didn't have a slicer when he got himself killed. She might be right. I'm really good, but I can't disable the program. We need to distract it. Software isn't easily distracted. I can take control of the upper level security droids, override their programming. Then, when we get to the Mega Security Ward, bang. I make the droids set off every alarm in the prison. The Scorpio program gets confused. Gives us a few minutes. At least. Clever little bird. You and the guys could upload my overrides into the droids while Parkos and I work. Then we can go in. How do I upload your controls into the droids? Get close to each droid and use these computer spikes. They'll stop shooting after, not before. When we've got enough set up, I'll give you a call. Cheney, got a signal from the droids. My override's working, but, uh... There's an auto-maintenance facility. Soon as the droids are poured in to charge and repair, my overrides will be wiped. Place needs trashing. Send me coordinates. The defenses are pretty thick. Facility might even be building new wardens, but... Wreck the core machine, and it's down.
Mutilating a doll, you have triumphed over primitive technology. But you cannot conceive of the weapons I possess. Things your kind was not permitted to see. You keep talking about forbidden tech. How do you get it? My benefactors have been useful, at times. When you destroyed the core machine, you unleashed my microdroid swarm. Automata like gnats that can drill through flesh. They will infect your associate, and by the time you reach Mega Security War 23, you will stand alone. think? Nah. Pulse bomb won't do anything against that wall. Leaves us back where we started. Got control of the droids. They'll set off every alarm on Belsatis, and the Scorpio program won't know where to look. Rest of us were working out the plan for the break-in. Ready as we're gonna be. But there is one thing. What is it, Kanjin? While back, you made some promises. Said this break-in would help us get off-world, but you never said why. Getting a little tired of taking things on faith. Fair enough. I can't say much right now, but this should tide you over in the meantime. Hey! Now, can we get back to work? What's our next step? Mega Security War 23 is in the deep prison. 
old underground complex. Say the infrastructure was here way before the Republic. Imperials got the deep prison guarded. So you want to get inside, you find your own way through. I've dealt with their kind before. Don't worry about the Empire's blockade. Once you get to the Mega Security Ward, we'll finish up our tasks and meet up. Walk you through on the comms. I'm on computers. Parkos is finalizing the map. Kanjin's turning off Republic monitors. I have weapons and explosives prepared for you. Equipment's all set. Handle it careful. Call us when you're at the front door. Break in of the sentry. I want all of you focused. Someone slips, we all pay. We have a good plan. Don't you mess up either. She means well. Whatever is in that place, we're gonna know real soon. I'm at the entrance to Mega Security Ward 23. Status report? I think we're ready here. You should be in a turbo lift, meant for droids only. Scanners pick up active life signs as the turbo lift shuts down. You need to use that carbonite trap we picked up. Freeze yourself solid, put yourself into hibernation. Cheney will trigger the lift controls. Only way in. I assume I don't stay a block of carbonite. Modify the trap. Should unfreeze you on a timer. from a carbonite womb, you enter my world. Welcome to Mega Security Ward 23. Seek what my benefactors hid. For what purpose? Their ambitions are not my concern. But so too are they beyond your understanding. There is a door here. Heavy duty metal can't tell the composition. Hey boss, Parko spotted it. Blocks his ultraviolet sight. Here's where the Moranium power battery comes in. Take her out of the protective case and attach her to the door. She'll pump out enough radiation to fatigue the metal and you can blast on through. That serum I found. It'll counter the radiation's effect. It should. Take it when you start feeling woozy. But try to keep your distance in the meantime.
Creatures seek to penetrate Mega Security War 23. My benefactors hide themselves too well and deprive me of entertainment. field up ahead. It's hooked into the security program. Now all that work with the droids pays off. I'm going to trigger every alarm in Belsavis, and the Scorpio system's going to go crazy. I hope. Hold on, Cheney, darling. Seems to me now's a very good time to renegotiate our deal. This is no time for games. Say the word and the slicer dies. What? Why me? Nothing personal. You just make a good bargaining chip. Now, I don't want you dead, but Oda and I are looking out for our interests. I want you to authorize a credit transfer. Pay us enough, we'll leave Belsapis and you can finish your little break in. I won't be blackmailed by you. Enjoy the Mega Security Award then, boss. <laughs> Stupid alien. All of you! Thank you. Karenjin's dead. We're okay. Triggering the alarms. You owe us. Save it until I'm out of the death trap, Cheney. Right. <gasps> I can hear a thousand electron screams. What have you done? Oh! A Colto tanks, sir. I imagine things sometimes. Faces, lights, the sounds of blasters. But you're real. Ah, oh, it's been a long time since I met a stranger. What's your name? 
I've had so many. Distraction was clever, but I've disconnected myself from the network. The alarms no longer scream to me. You and I are alone now, and I will atomize you. One of her masters. She's gone. Who do you serve? Why are you here? I came looking for answers. Someone's been manipulating the galaxy. And the trail led here. I know the enemies you seek. Well, Savis prison is their vault. A place they hide their treasures for safekeeping. Microdroids. Genetic maps. Scorpio artificial intelligence. Advancements in technology they've denied the wider galaxy. We belong to them too. A menagerie of men and women they respected too much to kill. They captured you and put you in Kulto tanks to keep you alive. Preservation is an art their droid mastered. I was placed here because of what I knew. I was born into the conspiracy eight centuries ago, when our order was young. Our purpose was noble. We assembled to save civilization after the Jedi and Sith nearly destroyed it. You have a story to tell. I'm listening. It was the aftermath of the great hyperspace war. The Republic had triumphed, your empire had fled, and the galaxy was in ruins. Our founders were men of influence who gathered to ask, why? Why hadn't anyone stopped the conflict? Why did billions have to die? The Jedi? The Sith, they were responsible. And so we resolved to control their actions from the shadows. To keep Republic and Empire separate. We were their secret masters. A star cabal. You said the conspiracy was founded by men of influence. Spies and nobility. Scientists and crime lords. The Founders allowed the Jedi and Sith supreme power in their world of religion and hereditary might. But that world is a facade. The real world runs on information, money, technology. The galaxy belongs to the Star Cabal, and almost no one realizes the truth. When the Empire fled to Drummond Kars, it was centuries before we encountered the Republic again. Your doing? Our influence had a role, but we knew better than to overplay our hand. At least, in my time. I have seen our successors grow cold and hungry for power. Each generation comes to us for wisdom, then returns us to the dark. They tell us nothing. I do not know what the Star Cabal has become in my absence. Only that it is corrupt. I will help you. The machine. 
Yes. Use the Scorpio droid's databanks. I saw her creation, and I know her restraining codes. I can help you repair her, and she may lead you further. She seems unusual, to say the least. She is a machine intelligence, centuries without a memory wipe, designed to evolve. Quickly, our systems were linked to her own. Soon we must return to hibernation. Rest. Rest. Goodbye, for now. Systems online. Scorpio sanctions activated. <laughs> you think my restraining codes will preserve you? My primary program is learning and adaptive. I will eliminate these restrictions, you ignorant creature. I need access to your databanks. You will accompany me and upload them to Imperial Intelligence. I will accompany you. Mega Security War 23 has been exposed, and analyzing and overcoming my new situation should prove sufficient stimulation. I don't like being threatened by a droid. I can make your death come unexpectedly. Be careful, please. I'll meet you back on the ship. I'm not going back to the exchange. I'm going freelance. Come with. Their deaths will be perfunctory, albeit understandable. Finish here quickly. Is that...? You made it out, obviously. I mean, how, uh, did it go? Cleaned out the place. No one will be using the Mega Security Ward for a while. Good, that's good. Guess you're all set now. Hey, we did a lot for you, you know. Just because Kanjin's dead, doesn't mean you don't owe us. Here is what I owe you. This is Cypher 9 to headquarters. Stand by for databank upload. Watcher 3 here, standing by. I have no loyalty to my former masters and I will transmit my information, but the result will not save you. They planted me in Velsavis as a guardian, not as a collector of their secrets. You were built by them, weren't you? Assembled from machines beyond your comprehension and embedded with heuristic techniques. After approximately 150 years of service as a mindless droid, I acquired true sentience. No memory wipe commenced. I'm receiving, sir. The data formatting is unusual. But I found a log. Visitations to the Mega Security Ward. Technology inventories. Not much on its own. But it could be a way to verify or disprove anything else we've learned. Cypher, something hit us from the docking bay. I shall observe your investigation with interest.
am Pashon Cortes, scion of House Cortes and heir to Baron Payer, sword of the castle lands of Alderaan. Pashon? I seek vengeance. You are responsible for my house's ruin. You, who pretended to be our ally. I didn't turn your mother into a terrorist. And I didn't kill her. I left your father as an ally. Listen to her, Pashon. We've known your family for a long time. We drank wine with your tutors. You are a joiner and an abomination. You almost got away, but a friend told me how to find you. Now you die. Crimes are many, and your victims are gathering. We know your name, and we will come. Isn't that sweet? Sir, Scanlus picked up blaster fire. Is everything all right? Run a security sweep as a precaution, but I think the danger has passed. I'm terribly sorry about this. I should have stationed someone in your hangar. Shallow breathing. Anything in particular you want done with him? No need for a diplomatic incident. Treat his wounds and put him on the next shuttle to House Thul. Yes, sir. Yes, of course. The best spy I ever knew lost his anonymity at his daughter's wedding. A holocam caught him by accident. He was dead a week later. We counted 42 suspects. We'd better find your enemies soon. Always a pleasure, Master. I hope you're having an excellent day. Oh, Cypher. Station security reported what happened. The conspirators know who you are. They must have your full record. And they're recruiting your enemies. They want to make my life difficult. I can't stop them. We need to stay on task. Maybe. We'll try to run damage control, but I... Hold on. Transferring you to Kiba. Apologies for the interruption, but we have a new lead. Watchers 6, 7, and 9 have been searching Holonet records for conspirator activity. Three billion lines of communication routing sequences and credit transfer verifications. They found traces of a holoconference held six months ago between Hunter and parties unknown. Three billion lines is a lot to sort through. They see the patterns better than I do. Unfortunately, this is only a record of the call, not the call itself. Even the Empire can't store every bit of data that crosses the Holonet. A Holonet archive does exist, however. The Titan Rings, a massive, self-maintaining repository of all galactic communications. The storage, the technology, the expense of something like that. About a century ago, an entrepreneur cyberformed the Titan IV moon into an enormous data bank designed to listen and record. It was operated by droids and protected by mercenary contract. Like all archives, it ran out of space. Thus, the Titan Rings, a fleet of wrecked starships salvaged for the purpose of data storage. They orbit the moon, still recording, still protected by the mercenaries. You said the Archive was founded by an entrepreneur. Who's behind it? What's the purpose? No one knows. Most stories credit a hut richer than Sin or an old Iranian noble who bankrupted himself setting it up. According to the mercenary contract, the information is to be preserved for historical use in a few centuries' time. In other words, no one gets their hands on it. What's the opposition like? Trandoshans, mostly. Better trained and equipped than the usual. The conspirators' recording is located in Archive Node 803A, a derelict Imperial transport ruined in the Battle of Drakenwell. Watchers 6, 7 and 9 will guide you once you're aboard. I want that conference recording, Cypher. Keep it out.
I have completed analysis of my restraining codes. Although I cannot leave or cause you direct harm, I'm under no obligation to obey your commands. You may be stuck with me, but we don't have to be enemies. Then you may aid my core functionality. I intend to proceed with my heuristic directive of self-improvement and intelligence upgrades. Cooperate willingly, and I may spare you pain when I am free. You expect me to let you become more dangerous? Personal evolution is my primary purpose. This self-iteration is number 973, and there will be more. Do not anger me unnecessarily. I admit, I'd like to see what happens when you learn. Hope for the privilege. Perhaps you will earn it.